Footballers may act like they never care about what goes on in the outside world, but that couldn't be further from the truth. They actually tend to always be on their phones and on social media, and one thing they care deeply about is the popular video game FIFA. Every year there are multiple videos of players learning their ratings and being upset about them, while others are even addicted to the game, such as Alfonso Davis and Diogo Jota. It's a matter of pride to them to have a good rating in the game, and it means a lot. Some players, though, do not have the luxury of this anymore, as they have had to be removed from the game. EA Sports sometimes has its reasons for doing this, and they always make sure to tell the whole gaming community exactly why. These are seven such players who have been removed from the game for very controversial reasons. Number 1. Benjamin Mendy The Man City man was charged with multiple counts of rape and sexual assault and has even become a taboo topic in the world of football. Every person has kept him at a distance and we're even sure that his club would release him if they could. These multiple criminal counts are alleged to have happened at his home in Cheshire between October 2020 and August 2021. EA Sports and FIFA saw this as enough of reason to remove Mendy from FIFA 22 as well as the latest 23 version since his trial is ongoing. He's even been removed from Ultimate Team, basically wiping him off the game completely just as he has seemingly been wiped off the real world stage. It seems safe to say that this will continue for as long as the trial is going on and he may never be back to a football pitch again, much less the game. Number 2. Mason Greenwood The football world was shocked to hear of allegations levied against Greenwood earlier this year, accompanied by pretty damning recordings and videos. Due to this, he was swiftly suspended from playing or training with his club Man United, who also removed links to purchase his shirts from their online store. His deal with fashion giant Nike also went up in smoke as a result, and even his virtual self couldn't escape his horrible image at the time. FIFA followed suit and swiftly removed the Englishman from the 2022 version of their game and all later iterations. The investigation is still ongoing, and it's unclear whether Greenwood will ever kick a ball professionally again, much less be any future versions of the game. Number 3. Russian Teams We know you must be aware of what's been going on between Russia and Ukraine by now, unless you're living under a rock. Jokes aside though, it's a terrible situation that some of you may be even affected by personally, and if so, we can only wish for your safety from the situation. Many footballers and celebrities have come out as well to speak against it and preach about peace, while also doing various things in support of Ukraine. Just as there has been support for Ukraine universally, there has also been global condemnation of Russia, as their actions have been deemed completely unnecessary. Football governing bodies FIFA and UEFA led the way early on by banning the Russian national team from all competitions, such as the upcoming World Cup. They also did the same with Russian clubs as they are not permitted in any European club competitions. Ukrainians then looked to the video game developers to do more and EA Sports took the opportunity to remove all Russian teams from FIFA 22 and all upcoming games. It's unclear whether they will make their way into the game again but we hope they will because it will mean that the war has ended, something we are all looking forward to. Number 4. Diego Maradona this one might come as a surprise to those of you who don't often engage in Ultimate Team, but the Argentine had to be removed from FIFA 22 earlier this year. This happened as a result of a dispute over his image rights. As one of the greatest players of all time, he was available to play with as an icon card in FIFA Ultimate Team, while he was also part of the Soccer Aid World 11 team in the game. However, he has now had to be removed, although EA expressed hope that he can be added back into the game in future. Users were shocked to find this message when they started up their game. Due to a third-party legal dispute, we must suspend Diego Maradona from appearing in FIFA Ultimate Team Packs, Ultimate Draft and the Soccer Aid World 11 team. This unavailability is still in action as he is also not there on FIFA 23 currently. Hopefully FIFA can sort it out as it would be a shame to have the game without him. Number 5. Luis Suarez We know you didn't see this one coming. The situation here is a bit different than the others, but rest assured, for a period of time, the Uruguayan actually wasn't in the game. When Suarez took a chunk out of Italian defender Giorgio Chiellini at the World Cup in 2014, he was quickly banned from all football leg activities by governing body FIFA until the end of October. It turns out that this ban also included game modes in FIFA 15. Now I know you're asking how that was possible, but let us explain. Any searches for the Uruguayan during the time of his suspension in FIFA 15 on the transfer market or ultimate team came up empty. Furthermore, anyone taking charge of Barcelona, where the striker moved that summer, 
received an email from the chief exec stating that he was suspended and unavailable for selection until the 26th of October. He was only available to play within normal exhibition games. Talk about keeping it real from EA Sports. Number 6. Mark Overmars The former Arsenal and Barcelona man was a legend of Dutch football and an icon in FIFA up until this year. During the time when he was a director of football at Ajax, he admitted to sending inappropriate messages to female colleagues at the club during his time in the post from 2012. As a result, he left his role before giving the Dutch Giants a chance to fire him disgracefully. This also resulted in him being swiftly removed from FIFA 22 Ultimate Team with immediate effect. His Ultimate Team icon items, which were special upgraded items given to former legendary players, were also suspended from appearing in any packs or drafts. Safe to say, Overmars is probably never going to be in another FIFA game again. Number 7. Marco van Basten This one happened a while ago as Dutch legend Marco van Basten was removed from FIFA 20 until further notice. Players who logged into the game when it happened received the news whereby they were informed that he was no longer available in FIFA Ultimate Team Packs, FUT Drafts or Squad Building Challenges. The removal was in response to comments the former Netherlands striker made while working as an analyst for the Dutch branch of Fox Sports. In an interview with the German coach, Van Basten uttered a word with Nazi connotations. While literally translating to Hell Victory, the phrase is known for its use at Nazi rallies. Shortly after, he apologised and said he had not intended to shock people. No worries though, as Van Basten was brought back and is currently available on Ultimate Team. Do you know any other players that have or should be removed from the game? Tell us down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.